Hello all and welcome to this video on machine learning regression techniques. In this video, we will cover the difference between simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, and polynomial regression. In simple linear regression, we predict the value of one variable y based on another variable x. x is called the independent variable, and y is called the dependent variable. So why do we call it simple? We call it simple because it examines the relationship between two variables only. And why do we call it linear? We call it linear because the, as the independent variable increases or decreases, the dependent variable increases or decreases in a linear fashion. Let's assume we want to predict the salary of an employee based on the number of years of experience. As number of years of experience goes up, the expectation is that the employee's salary will go up as well. In simple linear regression, we can use a linear relationship with the following equation, y equals to mx plus b, or salary equals to m times the years of experience plus b. Our goal is to obtain the best value of the coefficients m and b that best fit the data points where m represents the slope of the line and b represents the y-intercept. Let's plug in some numbers and let's assume that m is 4 and b is 1, for example. Now we have this equation, salary equals to 4 times years of experience plus 1. So now let's assume I'm an HR professional and I'm planning to hire a new employee. We can use this simple linear regression equation to model what salary should we give him or her. Okay, what about multiple linear regression? In simple linear regression, we predicted the value of one variable y based on another variable x. We only had two variables in this equation, and that's why we called it simple. However, multiple linear regression examines the relationship between more than two variables and can be represented by the following equation. y equals to b node plus m1 times x1 plus m2 times x2, plus as many parameters as you want, and then plus m n x n, where x is the independent variable and y is the dependent variable. Let's go back to our salary example. Let's assume that now we need to add another parameter, such as how many years of education, for example, as a new independent variable. Since the salary now is a function of two parameters, which is number of years of experience, and let's say the number of years of education as well, the equation becomes salary equals to B node plus M1 times the number of years of experience plus M2 times the number of years of education. And now our objective is to obtain the values of M1, M2, and B. Okay, what about polynomial regression? Polynomial regression models the relationship between the independent variable x and the dependent variable y as an nth degree polynomial in x. Here's what the equation looks like. So the equation is y equals to b node plus b1 times x plus b2 times x squared plus as many parameters as you want plus bn times x power n. So let's assume that our salary versus number of years of experience data looks like this. If we try to fit a line to this data, we will get a terrible fit. That's why when we fit a polynomial equation instead, we will get a much better fit. As you increase the order of the polynomial, you should be able to increase the complexity of the model and capture much more complex relationships. But of course, your number of parameters will go up as well. And that's it. That's a quick summary and comparison between simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, and polynomial regression. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like the video. And see you guys in future videos.